in Make Money Today, we still bring you strategies on how you can grow your money or grow your wealth and then keep it. Because it's one thing to make the money and another to keep it. I think for a person dealing in tangibles, you must understand that your buyer is interested in the service. Okay? You, you are not the manufacturer of cement. It is Toro cement. So for me, the buyer, I can get Tororo cement from anywhere. What distinguishes you, this shop from that shop from the other shop is the service. So what we are saying, yes, you are dealing in tangibles, but how can you improve the quality of service delivery? Because what you're doing here is that you're simply making a cut. You're getting a, a product that has been manufactured, you're selling it to X, and you're making a difference. So the quality of that service, the responsiveness, the ability, you know, you call someone and then he says, Wanji, what? You know, have certain levels of etiquette, customer care, the ability to respond to the needs of the clients. So for this individual dealing in tangibles, the trick is in being able to deliver better service. Finally, there is, there is a young person who came up with an app for hardware products. It's a neat. People are busy. They are in office from 8 to 5, but they need to build. But at 7, all the hardware shops are closed. So if I can able to order my material from this app, and I'm sure that the products that are going to be delivered have the right quality and quantity, you're meeting a need, so I can pay you, even though you don't own a shop. So my friend dealing in Tangibles, the trick is in the quality of the service that you deliver to the end client.